This one-person electric helicopter is terrifyingly awesome. Alibaba has created another unique electric vehicle, a flying vehicle operated by one person. It is not less expensive than other vehicles, but less expensive than the Seater drones offered in the West. The price is $78,000 plus about $618 in shipping costs. It is a piloted aircraft and you can purchase one from China. It's crazy. This helicopter enters the awesomely odd Alibaba electric car of the week. Also, while only weighing 110 kilograms, it can carry up to 100 kilos of cargo. It would probably be ideal if only one person traveled in this vehicle. With a 24S battery system powering the aircraft, the motors receive about 88 volts of voltage. There is a ton of RC LiPo batteries under your bum. Although there is no information on capacity, the sales page states that you get a 30 minute maximum flight time. In this video, we'll talk about a few electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft and this terrifyingly awesome Alibaba one person electric helicopter. Let's explore the history of EVTOL helicopters. A type of VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, known as an electric VTOL, hovers, takes off, and lands vertically using electric power. Due to significant advancements in electric propulsion, motors, batteries, fuel cells, and electronic controllers, and the expanding demand for new vehicles for urban air transportation, this technology was made possible, air taxi. Aircraft manufacturers like Boeing, Airbus, Embraer, Honda, Toyota, Hyundai, Overair, and NASA also work on examples. When a video showing the NASA Puffin EVTOL concept went viral on November 11, 2009, it gave rise to the idea of EVTOL aircraft. The video showed a single person rendering of the technology in flight. In 2010, the first Puffin paper was presented at the VFS Experts Symposium on Aeromechanics. This idea used a novel NASA-developed distributed electric propulsion technology. Other Puffin studies, including the NASA Puffin Electric Tail Sitter VTOL idea and the Puffin Redundant Electric Powertrain System were presented on September 13th during the 10th AIAA ATIO Symposium. Other industry initiatives like the Augusta Westland Project Zero, Italy, the Volocopter VC1, Germany, and the Opener Blackfly quickly followed this in 2011. US. The American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics and the Vertical Flight Society jointly sponsored the Transformative Vertical Flight Concepts Joint Workshop on Enabling New Flight Concepts Through Innovative Propulsion and Energy Architectures in Virginia in 2014. Since then, interest in EVTOLs among aircraft manufacturers has significantly increased and organizations like Boeing, Airbus, and Bell have also worked on this technology. Startups have been contributing significantly to the development of these air vehicles in addition to these significant aircraft manufacturers, and they have occasionally led the way in technological advancements. A paper about the Elevate project written by Jeff Holden, Nikhil Gol, and Mark Moore was published by Uber. The possibility of an on-demand aviation transportation system was discussed in the article. The concepts of EVTOL aircraft and urban air mobility were transformed from a science fiction concept to a potential aerospace sector that is being pursued by dozens of development projects. Thanks to that document and subsequent annual Elevate summits that the firm conducted from 2017 to 2019. Joby Aviation purchased Uber's Elevate in December 2020. The team at Uber Elevate has not only played a significant role in our sector, but they have also produced a wonderful set of software tools, said Joby CEO Joe Ben Beavert upon the company's acquisition of developing a decade of on-demand mobility expertise. Tetra Aviation's single-seat EVTOL won the Disruptor Award of the GoFly Personal Flight Competition in 2020. The business revealed its MK5 Personal EVTOL in 2021 and planned to ship them in 2022. It features a rear pusher prop for cruising and 32 vertical lift rotors spread across the long thin front and rear wings. It has a body of carbon fiber and aramid reinforced polymer and a frame made primarily of aluminum. The vessel is 6.15 meters, 21 feet long. 2.51 meters, 8 feet 3 inches wide, and 8.62 meters, 28.3 feet wide. A 13.5 kilowatt hour battery pack is used. With a 488 kilogram, 1,076 pound empty weight, it can carry a pilot weighing up to 79 kilograms, 174 pounds. 
In case of motor or flight controller failure, the vehicle has at least three flight controllers controlling 32 vertical propellers and a parachute in case of complete failure. The experimental kid aircraft will be offered for sale and all that is needed to fly it is a private pilot's license. The Leo, a three-seat, 250 miles per hour, 300 mile vehicle, was unveiled by Urban EVTOL in year 2021. It has 6.28 centimeter diameter turbine blade rear engines for horizontal thrust and 16.4 centimeters diameter 10 kilowatt ducted fans for a vertical lift. It has a double box wing configuration for the wing. The goal is to make it compact enough to fit a specific car area. 66 kilowatt hours are stored in the split battery system. Included is a ballistic parachute. It has not yet flown. The first crewed EVTOL flight over South Korea was accomplished by Volocopter in 2021. A study by Shashank Sripad and Venkat Viswanathan of Carnegie Mellon University that demonstrated EVTOL aircraft might have an energy efficiency comparable to or higher than terrestrial electric cars was published in November 2021 in the National Academy of Sciences. The study gave battery-powered EVTOLs a high technological readiness level. In October 2020, Delta joined the list of airlines supporting EV technology companies with a $60 million investment in Joby Aviation, a company developing an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to provide air cab service. Do you see any future for these EVTOLs? Tell us in the comments section below. Let's move on and learn some more fascinating facts about the technology behind electric helicopters and how Alibaba is nailing it. Don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. Subscribe to our EV Scene channel for more EV related stuff right there. The Technology Many inventions function without wings. Multicopters like the Volcopter 2X or the Jetson Aero often host the engines and propellers on radial arms. The direction of thrust is altered by vectored thrust designs which direct push horizontally when cruising and vertically for takeoff and landing. The rotors, or the complete wing, tilt wing, can pivot tilt rotor. Tilt rotor aircraft include the Archer Maker, Lilium Jet, Joby S4, Vertical Aerospace VAX4, and Zuri 2.0. The box wing of the ASML Aero Vertia uses a hybrid to pivot the portion that holds the rotor. Using flaps to direct air entering from a horizontal engine downward to create lift is another method of thrust vectoring. When viewed from above, Kraft Aero's box wing, which is attached to the bottom of the fuselage in the front and the top of the fuselage in the back, creates the appearance of a diamond. For a more fantastic range, the design incorporates a turbine generator. To guide the thrust from its 16 motors downward during takeoff and landing, Odis Aviation extends flaps. Most multi-copters don't have wings. Instead, they only use their rotating blades to provide lift. Front and back wings are used in tandem wing designs and can be connected at the wing tips. Two wings are also used in box wing or closed wing designs, but they have joined such that the wing tips are not present. The wings can be positioned front and back in tandem designs or vertically stacked. When cruising at a higher speed and closing wing designs close around the liftoff fans and open to reveal them. Alibaba's Crazy Inventions The most recent addition to Alibaba's product range, including e-commerce websites, internet services, media projects, and more, is the mass manufacture of smart electric cars. According to the company, the IML7 luxury vehicle, produced by the business's joint EV venture with state-owned SAIC, will be available for purchase on March 29th. The car is being produced at the SAIC plant in Shanghai's Lingang Special Area, in preparation for deliveries. The automobile is claimed to be a Tesla Model S rival in the Chinese market and costs $64,670, considerably less than the Tesla Model S's starting price in the US of $94,990. Tesla operates a gigafactory in Lingang, conveniently called Giga Shanghai, one of the finest locations to look for the world's most incredible and occasionally strangest electric vehicles is Alibaba. Though it's certainly a lot less expensive than the single-seater drones under development in the West, Alibaba's electric aircraft for one person isn't cheap. This is an expensive way to endanger your life, costing $78,000. But at least delivery is inexpensive, costing only $618. Once you obtain the object, you will discover a somewhat capable machine, provided it arrives. It is only 110 kilograms and can carry up to 100 kilos of payload or 220 pounds. 
Rich guys in Silicon Valley are already utilizing these to avoid traffic, even though they only go at 10 meters a second, 22 miles per hour, 36 kilometers an hour, this is still far faster than standing traffic. Also, if you buzz low enough, you can see the discouraged expression on the faces of those trapped in traffic. Instead of the cheap Verco plastic chair or the folding lawn chair Summit anticipated, there is a nice looking leather captain's chair. Even the free seat belt is thoughtfully included, though I guess that's more for the coroner than for you. This one-seater electric helicopter is really amazing. Don't forget to watch another EV-related video on our channel.